My name is Mandy Cass. I'm a certified genetic counselor. At Ironwood, we believe that when it comes to outsmarting cancer, knowledge is power. If you're watching this video, you may have been diagnosed with cancer, or you may have a family history of cancer. Genetic testing might have been recommended to you by your physicians, and you might be curious as to why people choose to undergo genetic testing. For some people, genetic testing can help determine why their cancer developed. Sometimes genetic testing can also tell us if there could be an increased risk for other types of cancers to develop. For some patients, genetic testing helps determine the best approach for their medical care. Many people with a personal or family history of cancer are concerned about possible cancer risks for their children, siblings, or other relatives. Genetic testing can help determine cancer risks for yourself and possibly your family members as well. This allows us to take appropriate steps to possibly prevent certain cancers or to try to detect cancers at the earliest, most treatable stage. In this video, we will talk about cancer basics and how inherited genetic factors could play a role in the development of cancer. We'll also talk about the three possible test results that we could get back with genetic testing like this. We'll also review the limitations of genetic testing. I'll also provide you with some additional resources should you have additional questions. Approximately one in three people will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. More specifically, one in eight women will develop breast cancer, one in 75 women will develop ovarian cancer, one in seven men will develop prostate cancer, and about one in 23 people will develop colon cancer. Genes, which are small stretches of DNA, are the inherited material in our bodies that determine quite a lot about how we grow and develop from the moment we're conceived and throughout our lives. Many genes in our body help prevent cancer. When there are harmful changes called mutations or pathogenic variants in these genes, that can lead to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Sometimes cancer is caused by an acquired variant or mutation that occurs within a given cell due to environmental exposures, aging, or other lifestyle factors. This is referred to as sporadic cancer and is the most common cause of cancer. Cancer may also be caused by an inherited variant or mutation that has been passed down through the generations of a family. This is referred to as hereditary cancer and approximately 10% of all cancers are thought to be hereditary. Certain characteristics can suggest that a family has hereditary cancer. These characteristics include cancer that is diagnosed at younger ages than usual, typically before the age of 50, certain patterns of cancers that are seen together in a family, such as breast and ovarian cancer or colon and uterine cancer, individuals who develop more than one cancer, such as bilateral breast cancer or both colon and uterine cancer, and specific tumor types, such as triple negative breast cancer, diffuse gastric cancer, or male breast cancer, may also be seen more frequently in families with some type of hereditary cancer risk. If you or your family members have any of these features, then you might have an inherited cancer predisposition and genetic testing might be recommended for you. If you do decide to proceed with genetic testing, we want you to have an understanding of the three possible results that you might get back. Those three possible results include a positive, a negative, or a variant of unknown significance. If you test positive, that means a pathogenic variant or mutation was identified in one of the genes on your test panel that increases your risk of developing cancer. The type of cancer, degree of risk, and medical recommendations will depend upon your specific genetic test result. Identifying a mutation in your DNA may provide an explanation for your cancer diagnosis if you have one. Genetic testing may help to guide your treatment options, including surgical decision making and considerations for different types of chemotherapy. Importantly, genetic testing can also clarify your future cancer risk, allowing your physicians to assist you with prevention or early detection of cancer. It's important to note that not everyone with a positive genetic test result will develop cancer. Instead, this just indicates an increased risk for certain cancer types and allows us to make appropriate management changes. Since DNA is passed down through the generations of a family, a positive genetic test result may help provide information about your family member's cancer risks. If you have a positive genetic test result, 
you'll be advised to speak to your physicians or a genetic counselor about your family tree to better determine who in the family would be a good candidate for genetic testing. Professional genetics groups are in agreement that children under the age of 18 should not be tested for inherited cancer conditions unless these conditions cause an increased risk of cancer in childhood. If you test negative, it means that the lab did not find a disease-causing variant or mutation in any of the genes that were analyzed, and a genetic explanation for your personal or family history of cancer has not been found. Your medical management should be based on your personal and family history risk factors. As with any lab test, there are limitations to genetic testing. It's possible for a patient to have a variant or a mutation in a gene or a portion of a gene that is not included in this testing. It's also possible that a patient's personal or family history of cancer may be due to factors that are not inherited. Researchers continue to look for additional genes that may impact cancer risk. The third possible type of test result is a variant of unknown significance. Everyone has variations in their DNA, and most of these variations do not cause disease. Genetic tests commonly identify changes in the DNA that have an unknown impact on disease risk. These are called variants of unknown significance. When a variant of unknown significance is identified, decisions about medical care should be based on a patient's personal and family medical history, and not the unknown genetic variation. Genetic testing is performed on a blood or saliva sample. Genetic test results typically take about three weeks to come back, and the results will be provided to your ordering provider. Most insurance companies cover the cost of genetic testing. Some patients wonder whether genetic testing may impact their health or life insurance. A federal law called the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, or GINA, was enacted in 2008 and protects individuals from being treated unfairly due to DNA variants or mutations that may affect their health. This law prevents discrimination from health insurers and employers. GINA does not protect people from discrimination in the areas of life insurance, disability insurance, or long-term care insurance. You can learn more about GINA by visiting these websites genahelp.org and the Government Genetics website. If you have additional questions that were not answered in this video, please talk to your physicians. Genetic counseling is a service that is available to all Ironwood patients. At Ironwood, we believe that when it comes to outsmarting cancer, knowledge is power. Thank you for watching.